In this lesson, I want to continue on with the blood vessels of the upper extremity and look at it in the forearm. Now, we had continue on with basilic vein here on the medial side. So let me draw basilic here. And then on the other side, we had the cephalic. And we came by it with cephalic. And we'll take these guys and trace them on downward. Now, the basilic vein will continue on all the way down to the end of the arm. And cephalic will continue on thusly. Now, once they are here, and I would usually use a different color, but I'm going to use orange. And they would unite to form palmar arch veins. Now, these palmar arch veins may go out a little further here. And I'll draw two different ones out for the palmar arch veins. Now, secondly, we had in orange before, but remember we've, we, we are limited with colors on the iPad, that we had our brachial vein. Our brachial vein bifurcates into a radial vein and an ulnar vein. Now, we use gray to show the ulnar here or rather the gray for the radial and the blue for the ulnar. And when these guys unite, they will form the other palmar arches. So we do have both uh, superficial and deep palmar arches. Now coming off of our palmar arches, I want to use red again just to show you guys that they will give off veins to the fingers called digital veins all those palmar arches, digital veins, and this uh, generally concludes now for what we need to know, the superficial and deep. Your superficial palmar arches come from the uh, basilic and cephalic veins, and your deep palmar arches come from the ulnar and radial veins, as seen here, but for our position, most diagrams don't depict them too well. But this concludes my video on the veins of the forearm, uh, veins of the uh, upper extremity part two. Thank you.